Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Beautiful out this morning. Yesterday it was cold and rainy and, you know, typical November weather, but it's probably going to be about 50 degrees today and bright blue skies. Feels good. I'm up in Adam early this morning. It's about 8.30, which isn't too early, but leaving the cave. Tom's going to work today. And I have a bunch of stuff to do back at the nest. And I think this evening, Tom and I are getting together with my sister Sue and her husband and my mother's husband. Um, he, my mother's husband actually sold the house and he's moving to Tennessee. So this will kind of be saying goodbye dinner type of deal. But that's later on. And for today, I just want to say hey, and I love you guys. I'm sure we'll make something for lunch. I have a couple of packages. Um, I got my goddess box. I think I told you guys that I was ordering a, uh, a new subscription. I cut my vegan cut subscription. So I did get my very first goddess box. And I'm not sure if I'll show you that in this video or if I'm going to do a separate video. But if I do a separate video, it'll either be today or tomorrow. And I got another birch box. I guess they're just giving them to me. So I'll save up the samples and give them to my daughters and stuff. So I want to show you that. And I got a couple, I got two more essential oils. Not a lot of stuff in the mail this week, which is fine. Because I need to pay some bills. And Tom and I went to the doctor yesterday to follow up on my leg. There was a 1% increase in blood flow compared to last year, which is good news. Anything that's not a decrease is wonderful. And uh, I love my vascular guy. He's so cool. So it was good to see him. He's encouraging me to he actually was encouraging me to follow up with the prosthetic and he really feels that I need to um, be doing more walking with the leg etc to build up collateral circulation isn't that exciting uh, yeah I used to have a stationary bike peddler you know just like pedals on a wheel that I used to use um, I may see if I can grab that again I don't know we're gonna pull in and I'm gonna go feed the birdies and I'll see you guys inside and I'll show you some of the uh, projects that I made this week. Well, actually just the, the dream catcher and the cinnamon pine cones are still busy smelling good, but thanks for all the love and support on the videos I put out. The Gypsy and the witch, etc. So I love you guys, I'll see you inside. Okay guys, just fed the birdies. Nobody's mad at me. What a day. I'm gonna make a pot of coffee. I'll show you. I hung the dream catcher right on the door, keeping any negativity at bay. And it was a lot of fun to make. I hope you guys give it a try. It's totally inspired by Pinterest, etc. And I wanted to show you my new filming set setup. Normally in the past. Try not to go too fast here. Um, you guys would see I would always film on my table there where lighting is a bit of a problem. Um, now that I have my new laptop, thank you, Tom, I can use a webcam and I have set up, uh, you can see I still have the my mission inspiration page here. Um, I'm set up on my table here and I just have that clamp. Thank you, Mark Muir with my webcam and a bunch of lights and I get to take advantage of all the daylight coming through that window so that's been cool and yeah I think that's all the news I have to report right now let's um, make some coffee and get on with our day and I'll see you in a little bit
I picked up the camera and started filming at the bird feeder because there was a pileated woodpecker. And of course, the minute he saw me, he ran away. So, or flew away, anyway. Yeah, um, all right. Well, you know what? I'm going to put these lamps away and clean up a little bit. Here's the birch box and my goddess provisions box, which I'm really excited about. Um, maybe I'll open the birch box with you guys and I'll do a separate video for the goddess provision box. Just having some coffee right now. And let's see, it's still, it's 10 o'clock now. I realized I need to make some body butter today. I promised my sister Sue that I would have some for her friend. And I've been procrastinating that. So I'm going to do that today. Let me guys, let me know, you guys, if you want me to do a video on how I do that. Um, it's fairly simple, but I'd be more than happy to share it with you. So I'm going to do that. And like I said, I think I decided for lunch today we'll make um, some kind of a veggie burger. Whether I use mushrooms or beans or maybe a combination or something. But um, yeah, so that's that. And today's card is the Empress. Love her. So let me show you what I'm going to be doing right now. I have pulled out everything I need for my body butter. And I'm not going to show you how I do it right now, but I'll show you what I'm going to use. Um, here is some shea butter, and this was actually my mom's. So um, kind of really honored and happy to have it. But I don't know if you guys have ever seen this in bulk. So, shea butter, and I have, I think I showed you this last week, I got some wild cocoa butter, which kind of looks like the shea butter, coconut oil, uh, I used some vitamin E, almond oil, and today's batch we're going to do lavender. So, basically I just combine them all and whip it up, and yeah, it's pretty amazing. So... That's what I'm going to be doing right now, and I'll see you back here when it's time to make some lunch. All right? I'll give you a window shot. Time to make some more stuff to hang in the window. And you know what? It's rainbow hour right now on my ceiling. Love it. Brightest blessings of the super moon this week, you guys. Oh my God, was that amazing? Yeah, feeling the energy for sure. See you in a little bit. Okay, so my body butter's cooling down right now, and I figured I would just show you the birch box. I'm getting a kick out of this again that they're sending this to me. I shared with you guys last week, I think, that. Like two years ago, maybe even three years ago, I used to have a subscription to this and I canceled it a long time ago. And these have started showing up in my mailbox. And, you know, I'm thankful to get a gift box in the mail, but unfortunately, a lot of their items are not vegan. So I won't be using them, but I will pass them along to my kids. Um, and I thought it would be fun to share with you. So. Let's see what they sent in the birch box. And I can always use the boxes in mixed media um, or something like that. You know I love to recycle. And I told you guys, I showed you my the postcards I made last week for Happy Mail. Well, I haven't finished them yet. And when I finish them, I will show you. Okay, I'm struggling here. And there's a box inside a box. And it's a beautiful box. So once again, thank you, Birchbox. I wish I could use your products. Um, I'm not going to, they have a card. It says, the finishing touch. This month is all about those extra just because details that make all the difference. And then they have a listing of all the products. And I don't like to look uh, first, but this is how it looked when I opened it. There's a little product here. I can't read it backwards. For sure, Lumisha, 
shampooing. Okay, this is a shampoo. Illuminating Shine Shampoo. Frequent use, all hair types. Maybe I will read this just so I can uh, find out what it is. Renee Furturer, and please forgive me for murdering your name. Lumisha Shampoo, full size is $22. This Lux French Shampoo uses active plant ingredients like acerola extract plus vitamins B5 and C to remove residue and leave a soft, glossy finish. And again, I don't know if these products are vegan or not, so until I do find that out, I won't be using them. They enclosed a piece of foam, which again, you guys know I'll use in something. Uh, oh, this is nice. Well, just as I said this, uh, La Vanilla. This is a pure vanilla. The Healthy Fragrance, pure vanilla, full size is $19 to $58. This sweet and sultry scent blends notes of Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, and goji berry. I should have got my, not tested on animals. All right. No harsh chemicals, no petrochemicals, no phthalates, no propylene glycol, no mineral oils, no silicone, no synthetic dyes, no sulfates or parabens. Well, go La Vanilla Labs, lavanilla.com. I'm excited. I'm not a big fan of vanilla. That being said, I love uh, to use vanilla, you know, in baking and things. But we'll see. This might be wonderful. So this I will keep. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. Ah, I wish you could smell it. It's super warm. <sighs> the vanilla is there. Oh, I love it. Um, you know, very strong, but it's not overpowering. It's just that warm, almost sugary kind of a scent. I'm, brown sugar comes to mind, but um, I'm not sure what goji berries and tonka beans smell like. But blended with this, this is amazing, you guys. I'm really, really liking this. This essential blend of Madagascar vanilla tonka bean and rich heliotrope is created by natural perfumers who only use the finest pure essential oils. We uniquely infuse organic sugarcane alcohol. I wonder if that's what I'm smelling. With exotic essential oils and skin pampering botanicals for 100% healthy gorgeous and authentic expression of nature and it looks like they also have a deodorant aluminum free deodorant no harsh chemicals uh i would definitely i mean this may be a little pricey and i'm not going to spend 30 dollars on a deodorant but nice pleasantly surprised with that one you guys that's great and birchbox if you're listening you know Go vegan. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, what else we got? Coastal Scents. This exclusive sampler includes one blush and one highlighter from the new Blush and Bronzer Palette. So this is a little sample size. Um, these blush and highlighter duo, duo full size is $19.95. These favorites from the Blush and Bronzer Palette and part of Radiant Glow. Add the highlighter to cheekbones and under the brow for a lifted and defined look. So, excuse my nails, you guys. I have the gold paint from my Mission Inspiration page still on my nails. Okay. Those are not bad colors. Obviously, here's your highlighter and there's your blush. Um, I believe I used to have a Coastal Scent eyeshadow. But I'm not sure about their company and uh, if they're vegan or not. So I will do a little investigating. And again, if not, I will pass that along. Um, here we go. Oh, is this a benefit product? Yes, it is. Wow, go Birchbox. Here's a benefit mascara. Roller lash. Is benefit vegan? I think they may be. 
Wow, there's no way. Look at the writing on this, you guys. Do you guys know? Let me know down below. Is Benefit a vegan product? I'm just now starting to, it's been a year since I've become fully vegan. Um, but, uh, you know, I have a few products that I use that I know are vegan as far as, you know, shampoos, soaps, cosmetics. But I haven't really branched out and done a lot of research in that area. Focus more on food. So let me know if you guys know. Uh, because if it is, I would be interested in using this. Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Super Curling and Lifting Mascara. Full size is $24. The patent pending brush is made with tiny soft hooks which instantly catch, curl, and separate each lash. Wiggle the wand from base to tip, then curl up for extra lift. Nice packaging. Yeah, that would be really nice if I could use this. But if not, it'll be really nice if someone else can. What are you going to do? You do, you know, save the world one item at a time. Okay, next. Aribe Gold Envy Luminous Face Mask. Oh, wow, a gold face mask. Well, I'll have to try this out at another time. Full size, you guys, this is where, hello, you know, I don't, I don't understand. Full size face mask, $95. You would have to give me a full size gold mask that I could hang on the wall or something and wear. There is no way on this beautiful earth that I would pay that kind of money even if I had it. Even if I had that kind of money, there is no way that I would pay it for something that's, you know, disposable. And anyway, no offense to those of you who choose to invest and spend their money. Spend your money how you want. It's your money. You do what you want. But I would not. Oh, my God. It makes me like ugh, to even think about it. But anyway, I have a gold envy luminous face mask here. We've added in this mask that even skin and uses gold particles to give you a lift from within glow. Apply to clean, dry skin, let's sit for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse. I'm telling you, for that price, I would never take it off. So I'm not going to try this right now. I don't know how it is. But let me know. Would you guys pay that kind of money? Is it just me? Um, I, I just, I can't even conceive of it. You know? Wow. Anyway, so there's that. And then, oh, we have another, this must be the conditioner to the um, shampoo. I can hear the Blue Jays outside yelling about the food. This must be the conditioner to that shampoo we got. Uh, yep, Lumisha conditioner, full size, $24. Again, for a product that you're just going to rinse down the drain. This innovative conditioner neutralizes hard water buildup on your strands, cuticles for a weightless finish while moisturizing botanicals detangle knots. Okay, well, you know what? There, it says the details matter. Nothing inspires us more than you. Tell us what you like and what you don't like and help make Birchbox better than ever. I think I will maybe write to them and tell them um, that I appreciate them and that I would be interested in seeing a lot more... Um, organic, cruelty-free, wonderful products such as this in future boxes. And let me guys, let me know, you guys, if this is um, vegan. And I guess I could Google it myself. But if you know off the top of your head and you want to share it with me, let me know. So that's this month's Birchbox. And again, thank you, Birchbox. Um, you rock. And check it out if you haven't. I enjoyed my subscription when I had it. It's ten dollars a month, I think, and or it was when I had it, and it was you know fun if you like to get a little something in the mail. This was before I was into uh, art as much as I am now, and when I had first started watching YouTube videos, I got hooked up in the Birchbox unboxings and I got caught up in that. But again, that was like three years ago. So thank you, Birchbox, for my boxes, um, and. Yeah, that's it, you guys. So I'm going to finish doing the body butter and let's, I'm going to Google a veggie burger recipe, okay? And we'll get to cooking some lunch. Maybe I'll make some french fries too. Put some um, fries in the oven. So let's eat lunch before it's time for me to have dinner. 
I'll see you in a few minutes. I knew I forgot to show you something. I also got a bottle of cedarwood essential oil this week in the mail, and I bought these. Cypress. So essential oils, as you all know, are very expensive, and it's taken me years. I'm slowly building my collection, and um, yeah, so I just do a little bit at a time. So I wanted to share. Okay, guys, let's make something to eat. I was able to find a recipe online that's like a mushroom bean burger. I'll show you all the ingredients, how we're going to do it. Um, while I'm getting that together, I'm going to preheat the oven to 450 and just throw in some crinkle cut french fries. These are just potatoes and vegetable oil. Um, and we'll bake those up at the same time. We'll make burger and fries. All right, I'll see you back here when I have everything gathered. Okay, so here's what the fries look like before they go in the oven. I just put them on an old cookie sheet and the oven's at 450 and these guys will cook for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, this is what we're gonna use for our burgers. I have some portobello mushrooms here, which I'm gonna chop up. A yellow onion, I'll also chop that up. We're gonna use three green onions, some garlic, a can of uh, black beans rinsed. I have some olive oil here. We're gonna use some sea salt, black pepper, a little bit of cumin, and the recipe called for parsley, I don't have any, so we're going to use oregano. So let me just prep all these ingredients, and we'll get to making our burger. And let's not forget the body butter. So I just put this in the jars, obviously. I'm going to put it back in the fridge and let it firm up a little bit. And I've decided I will do a video this week. It's just a very simple recipe, and I'll share it with you guys. Okay guys, let's get started. I'll tell you what we're going to do along the way. First, I'm just going to, I've already preheated my handy dandy cast iron skillet. And I'm just putting some oil in there. Probably too much. I don't know, a teaspoon or so. And we're going to cook the um, onions and garlic first, just for a few minutes. And I've it called for one clove of garlic. You know I had to do three. So we'll just let these cook down for a few minutes. And then we'll add the green onion and the mushrooms. And I've diced everything up. I thought about using the food processor, but I decided not to. So we'll cook this down. Then we'll add the onion, the green onion and the mushrooms. We'll let those cook for, you know, five minutes or so. And then we're going to mash up our beans. And we'll add the cooked mixture to our mashed up beans with all the spices. And then we'll form our patties and cook them. So I'll see you back here in a few minutes when this is done. And we're going to add the, the mushrooms and the green Okay, onion. so next we're going to add our green onion. And I've just chopped it up. And our mushrooms, it said three quarter cup. It's closer to a cup. I never listen. And recipe calls for half a teaspoon at this point of cumin. So I'll add that in one second. Just have some generic cumin. about, I don't know, three quarters of a teaspoon maybe. And we're going to cook this for about five minutes or so and let these mushrooms soften up. And in the meantime, while they're doing that, I've rinsed and drained our beans and we're gonna mash them up. And I'm just going to use like a fork. Well, actually, I have a potato masher. So I'll show you. I'll show you the beans. Hang on a second. Here's the beans right here. And I'll just use a generic potato masher. 
and mash down the beans in a bowl. And then when this is cooked, we're going to add this to those mashed beans. Okay? We'll see you back here when that's done. All right, I'll show you how I'm going to mash these. I just have this tray here. You could do these in a food processor if you want, but I don't know. This is part of the fun of cooking for me is all this kind of mindless meditative stuff. But it's up to you. If you're pressed for time, throw it in a food processor. Just pulse it. Make sure you're not blending it. I could definitely, I'm going to make this recipe the way that it, you know, that I found it, but I could think of many variations of spices and things to try with this basic recipe. So this is really my first time ever trying to make a homemade veggie burger. So fingers crossed. I'm sure you could adapt this recipe to a, you know, meatloaf but yeah I think this is good we'll sit this here and I'm going to come back and I'll show you our cooked mushrooms and then we're going to add everything together and shape up some burgers See, it's still okay so this mu mushroom mixture is cooked now and I'm going to let it cool a little bit and then add it to our beans here. And then I'm going to clean out this cast iron pan and reheat it because we'll cook our burgers in it. So I'll show you how we're going to make the patties, but I'm just going to let this cool for a little bit. Okay, this isn't cooled down all the way yet, but I'm just going to add the mushroom mixture to the beans here so I can... So we can eat lunch before it's time to go to dinner, which was confirmed we're all going to have Italian food tonight. My sister and her husband and me and Tom and my mom's husband. And I have to tell you, I've been thinking about my mom all day, obviously. Um, it's so easy for me to be in denial about her death. But every once in a while, she comes peeking back up, but I just keep holding her close. Sorry, I didn't mean to get melodramatic. While we're making burgers here, this one's for you, Mama. I think it also with making the body butter today, because the shea butter came from her. All right, you see this? You see this? You see this? I'm going to mix it up, and then I'm just going to form it into a patty. But let me clean out my frying pan and wash my hands, and we'll make a couple patties. And I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't let them firm up in the refrigerator for a few minutes too. All right, so see you back here, we'll make some patties. Okay, I wiped out my frying pan and I added to this, I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon of sea salt and a teaspoon of black pepper and maybe a teaspoon of oregano. Mixed it up really good and we're just gonna go in and for the pur I'm going to make a few burgers, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do one right now. Um, and my fries are done. I wrapped them in tin foil. So can you see this good? I hope so. The lighting's kind of strange right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to mold it like you would do any other burger. And I just realized I have some of that vegan cheese, the Go Veggie slices which I don't know if I told you guys, I wound up making, um, when I made the soup, I made grilled cheese and salad with it. That's what we had for dinner. And I used the Go Veggie, you know, vegan cheese slices, and they're amazing. So anyway, here's our burger, and it's pretty thin, and I want it that way so it cooks quick. So I have enough here. There's probably enough to make two or three, depending on how big your burgers are. So... I'll probably make burgers out of those and then wrap them up and in between wax paper and freeze them and I'll have them for during the week. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they're going to taste good. So I'll take you over to the frying pan. 
Okay, so I added a little more oil to our pan just so these don't stick. And it should be nice and hot now. And we'll just put this burger in. And, I don't know, cook it maybe three to five minutes per side, I want to say. Um, and then I'm going to slap a piece of that cheese on top. I don't think I have any buns, but that's okay. It'll be enough. Maybe I have some lettuce and tomato or something. Um, so while this is cooking, I'll see how I'm going to serve it up. See, and see when it's time to flip it. Sorry, guys. I flipped it without you. I didn't even think. I just went in. Um, it cooked like about four minutes. And it seems to me that it's a little soft, mushy. So I'm going to let it go for about five minutes now. And we'll see how that goes. And then we'll flip it again. You don't want to flip it too much. I don't know. We'll see. But right now it's kind of mushy. See you in four minutes. Okay, let's flip this one more time. So that was five minutes on this side. I don't know. It still feels kind of mushy, guys. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. I think it needed a binder. Don't you think? Whether you use some oats or... I don't know. Even some flaxseed to pull it together. Something. A little flour. I don't know. It's super, super mushy. Now, I'm sure it'll be delicious taste-wise, but as far as um, like a firm, like a veggie burger, I'm not getting that, and I really don't want to burn it. So I'm going to let this go like two more minutes, and I'll plate it up, and I'll see you back here for a bite. I forgot about our vegan cheese. I don't have the packaging anymore, but the company's name was Go Veggie. And I had initially gotten a coupon through my Vegan Cuts box. And then I actually saw the brand at my local ShopRite. So this stuff melts up as good as any craft single that I've ever seen. And tastes totally comparable. So um, we're going to let that melt down. And like I said, I'll see you back here for a taste test. Just thought I'd show you how it melts. It's really good, you guys. I totally recommend it. This brand and Chow, C-H-A-O, so far are my two favorite uh, vegan cheese brands. Now I'm going to plate it up. Guys, finally, here we have it. I have some lettuce and tomatoes. My last pickle. So you know I'll have some project with a pickle jar coming out. French fries and ketchup is a vegetable, isn't it? This one is uh, French's, I don't know. I get what I can get. If I can get organic, I get organic. If I can't, I don't freak out. As long as it's vegan, it's all good. So, of course, you know I want to have a French fry first. Mm. No matter what kind of restaurant you go into, if you're vegan, you can usually 95% of the time find french fries on the menu so french fries and salad <laughs> but restaurants are stepping it up okay let's have a bite of burger like i said it didn't really firm up too well but that doesn't mean it doesn't taste good so i'll try it without the ketchup first mm. Mmm. Wow. It's excellent. Again, a mushy for my taste, but... Wow. I could see using that for a multitude of things. Um, shepherd's pie. It's all, It almost, with the cumin in it, almost has a Mexican taste. You could do enchiladas with it or burritos or something. Really good, depending on the spices, you could adapt it to many different cuisines, you know. You could do a, a Greek kind of falafel route. You could make it Indian. I like it. Again, aside from the mushiness factor, which, you know, it firmed up enough that I could pick it up. But it's falling apart. So, but taste-wise, really, really good. And it was a simple recipe. 
I wish I could tell you the site where I got it. I think it was allrecipes.com. I think. All I did was search uh, vegan burgers, mushrooms, and beans. And that's I can't, the first recipe that came up. That's what I took. So let me know if you try something like this or if you guys have any great veggie burger recipes yourself, please share with me. I would love them. Love to try them out. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. It's another long vlog. I did manage to film the Goddess Box subscription unboxing. Love it. So check it out if you haven't seen that video. Um, should be before this one. And yeah, have a great night, you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for being here. Um, you know the drill. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace and love and veggie burgers. And I'll see you very soon. I have more art on the way, and I'll do a body butter video, okay? That probably will, may be the next one. And, oh, don't forget to check out Creative Arts Collaboration is having their hashtag Love Winter Art event. Um, so check out any of those guys if you see them hanging around. I love them. I love you. I'll see you next week. Take care. Blessed be.